Right, welcome back to another video. Um, it's like the 9th of July today, I think it's the 9th of July, and I've already done 7 videos in this month, so I'm pretty proud with the amount of videos I've done in this month already. Um, you know, drop a like if you're enjoying them, um, hopefully you are. Uh, just to start the video off, uh, I'm not feeling 100% at the moment, uh, if you tuned into my live stream last night, um, thank you for tuning in for starters, and that you'll know that I just wasn't feeling, towards the end of it, I was... My throat was going, and uh, my breathing's not been great. I woke up this morning, just uh, just feeling like crap, really. So, you know, if I'm heavily breathing or something, that kind of explains why. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, I wanted to make this video today because, like, it's crazy still. It's still mind-boggling. But about a year ago, uh, almost exactly a year ago, I made my first video. Well, my first public video on this channel was made almost a year ago to the day. And that's crazy. Um, since then, I've made over 90 videos uh, in this year, and I've gained almost 1,500 subscribers. Um, admittedly, in the last month or so, or last two months, my subscriber rate has actually uh, it's dropped, shall we say. You know, the, the subscribers I've got now isn't the highest amount of subscribers I've had. I've had a bit closer to 1,500, but I think I'm standing at like 1,450 at the moment. I'll check when I upload this video, but I think it's around that. And uh, but I still can't thank you enough. You know, I'm still grateful to have this amount of subscribers for sure. And to gain that many in a year is, you know, every every YouTuber says the first year is the hardest year in terms of growth and stuff because obviously you're starting from scratch, and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> obviously, just like everyone has to do. So it's hard to grow. You know, there's nobody to like speak about your channel to promote it or anything. You've got no one at the start really, so it's quite a lonely place. But, you know, once your channel begins to grow, more people know about it and more people like share your videos, etc. Then the growth starts to, um, you know, get bigger uh, as it as it proved uh, at the start. But, you know, as I say, it's dropping a bit now, but uh, I'll get into that in, as the video progresses. Um, I made uh, about four years ago, uh, I made a channel. Uh, it's actually about four. Yeah, yeah, four years ago, that's actually crazy. I was going to say it's actually three, but it is four. Now we're in 2016, which is still well, halfway through 2016 now. Um, over halfway through, jeez. <laughs> jeez, this year's going by so fast. Um, but yeah, over four years ago, uh, I started a channel, um, and it was called Squiggle27. Um, 27 because my birth date's the 27th, and it's kind of my lucky number, my go-to number. Squiggle, I don't even know why, you know, like literally. So, you know, if you look at my web address for my uh, YouTube channel, it does say Squiggle27. And I did a, uh, I started a series called Ask Squiggle. And I did a few, uh, it was literally people asking me questions. I was getting people to comment on my videos and uh, asking for advice for certain things. And I'll give my best answers for them. And that was it. Uh, it didn't really take off, as you can imagine. It just didn't. Uh, I gained like 20 subscribers. Uh, in the uh, months I was doing that and a few of my uh, friends from school shall we say knew about my channel found out about my channel and sort of started to take the mick and started to like comment on those videos like jokey advice you know like like make up scenarios that they wanted advice for asking me to do videos of it when they're not really asking for advice and that they just wanted me to look silly so I stopped it and I deleted all of those videos um I completely deleted them. I didn't even private them. I just deleted them um, off my channel. And then uh, a few years later, uh, my first year at uni actually. So uh, yeah, like it was, it was at the start of my first year at uni. So almost two years ago, I started another channel. No, I started this channel again and I changed my name to Cookie Monster, which is what it is now, if you didn't know. <laughs> and um, I started making videos again, just another ask series, like ask me questions about this. And I'll give advice again, but this time I was just called Cookie Monster. And hopefully nobody, because I was at uni now rather than at school, nobody would find out. You know, I wouldn't tell anyone about my channel. That didn't take off, so I made about three of those videos. And again, I privated them because they're quite embarrassing. Now let's go back to July last year, a year ago today. Uh, I, I made my f what is now my first public video on this channel. 
It was about me being asexual. It was me coming out as asexual to the YouTube world, to the world even. You know, anyone can watch this video. It's not private or anything. It's, it's available for the uh, public. and Anyone can watch it. And it's actually become my second most popular view on this channel, even though I've made like 90 videos. My first one, probably my worst one, that rhymes. <laughs> but it, you know, because I was just so nervous, I just wasn't very confident talking to the camera. It was my first you know, proper video and just speaking about a topic that I didn't know how would people would respond. And yeah, it became very, very popular. I think it's got like 230 likes. It's had over 6,000 views. Uh, the most views on my channel, I think one of my videos has got over 21,000 views, and like over 450 likes or something crazy. Um, so thank you for that. Um, but I didn't think it would blow up so big, you know. I, I came from somebody that could only gain 20 subscribers by doing YouTube over uh, several months by doing this really crappy little uh, vice thing uh, to speak about asexuality and to be known as like, some people refer to me as the asexual YouTuber, which is crazy, because there are so many other asexual YouTubers, but the fact that I'm labelled that way is a, a real honour, and I really appreciate that. Um, so it's crazy that I, instead of just gaining 20 subscribers from a few months like I was four years ago, I've now gained over 1,400 subscribers, which is, is, is a huge amount. That's over the population of my secondary school, so that's crazy to think. Uh, and it's for people all around the world. I've made some great friends. You know, I know a lot of you personally, actually, uh, because I'm still, you know, a small YouTuber, so I still can speak to you all individually. I still do. I try and reply to comments as much as I can um, when I'm not working and stuff. And, yeah, I, I think you all appreciate that and respect me for that, so I do appreciate that. Thank you. And, you know, I know a lot of you on a personal level now, and I've heard a lot of your stories. I've learned a lot about you as subscribers, as individuals. Uh, and there's friends, you know, I've, I've made friends through here that that can last for a long time. And I, uh, I really do appreciate that. Um, uh, for goals in the future, uh, I would like to um, have this, you know, I'd like to make this my job. I would love to uh, hopefully grow to an extent that I get paid for this. Um, uh, people do probably notice that I have got ads on my videos. But I haven't actually earned enough yet to even be paid by um, by Google or YouTube, you know, the same company. Uh, I haven't actually earned enough yet. So that's that's saying a lot. You know, I, I've got nowhere near uh, enough. Uh, I haven't earned nowhere near enough to, you know, be paid even yet. So, but I, you know, the channel's still small, small so that's uh, to be expected. Um, but I would love to grow to the extent that I can make this my job because especially recently as well with my vlogs, uh, if you haven't checked out my vlogs, um, you know, I'm quite proud of them. I think they're the videos I'm the most proud of recently. Um, you know, I think they were my last videos, so you can just check them out if, you, if you're if you interested. Um, but I'm very proud of them, and I've really enjoyed making them. And seeing your feedback as well is so, so nice. And just showing everyone around with just my life and stuff, and just having the friends there, you know, just, just there watching my videos is so, so, such a nice feeling. And I appreciate all of your kind words and support. And appreciate you as friends, you know, I, I just, I really do, I really, really do, I've made some great friends through here, maybe not that I can meet in real life, but ones that I can speak to at any time of need, uh, friends from all over the world, I mean, some are, you know, across the oceans, and, and the people that come and watch my streams, you know, some are from Eastern Europe, some are from freaking Australia, some are from South America, some are from like just the US, it, it's crazy. And so yeah, why I wanted to make this video is just a really big thank you, basically. And um, I just want to go into a bit of detail. This is going to be a bit deep, but I think it's I feel it's necessary for one, um, just because uh, it's the honest truth, and it's uh, I can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, I get people coming up to me, well not coming up to me, but messaging me on YouTube, messaging me on Snapchat, messaging me on Instagram. If you want to follow me on any of those, I'll leave those in the description. And people message me uh, every day, uh, you know, I get a load of messages every single week from people who watch my videos saying, thank you, you know, thank you, Alex. Uh, I suddenly don't feel so alone about my sexuality, uh, whether they're exactly like me, whether they're like heteromantic like myself, uh, whether they, you know, just appreciate the fact that, you know, I'm speaking about not liking sex and they don't, or, you know, whether that even if they're even slightly different, you know, whether they're aromantic as well, or whether they're 
homo romantic, you know, a bit different for me. I mean, a lot of you say that, you know, my videos are very relatable and you're able just to relate to me and, you know, why experience, which is, uh, means so much, but you really have no reason to. And the reason I say this is because I thank you. And I don't mean that loosely. I'm not saying it like every other YouTuber. Like, thank you for the support. You wouldn't be here. I don't want to say any of that cheesy crap. But I just want to say, you know, I, I honestly mean this. Because uh, I don't think a lot of you understand um, how uh, powerful this has been to me. I mean, uh, before the reason I started it and the reason I made this video is simply because I felt alone. I felt exactly like a lot of you did. I felt like I had no one. I felt like I was, I'd never met uh, an asexual who was open about it in my life. You know, I'd never spoken to like in the streets with an asexual. I just hadn't done that. Uh, I suddenly, uh, with my friends' conversations, you know, sex came up a lot. Sex came up a lot with friend, friends, you know, my peers, everything. And I just felt I needed to reach out because I wanted some people to talk to. I wanted some friends, even if it was just like a few, if it was just a couple of people, uh, you know, whether they were across the road or, world or nothing, just, or anything, just, you know, I just wanted somebody to talk to. And that became apparent as, you know, even my videos progressed and I started making more and more videos. I just... YouTube became the place where I was just open about anything, literally open about If you watch some of my videos uh, and like, look at some of the comments, you know, people just respect me for my openness and I really appreciate that. I'm glad that you understand why I'm so open and honest a lot in my videos. Uh, you know, I tell uh, stories about, a lot of personal stories. Uh, I'm very personal about how I am. I'm very open without how I am. And I, I don't see any reason why I, I wouldn't need to be, you know, I, I can, I feel I can trust a lot of you. Uh, my negative to positive uh, feedback is, you know, there's a lot more positive in comparison to negative. And that's crazy. I think like I've had like over 3,500 likes in total and just over 100 dislikes. So, you know, it's like 35 to 1 in terms of. In terms of likes to dislikes which is is crazy absolutely crazy and so i really do appreciate and i'm glad you appreciate my honesty and youtube has just become like my diary i've said this in a lot of videos before like i come here and i make a video if i'm like worried about something if i'm upset about something if i want to get something off my chest it's i've i had um before youtube i always did make a diary you know uh, i always wrote in it but the difference with the diary is I had nobody. Like, I would, this was my own personal diary. The only person that would read it was myself, uh, my future self, shall we say. And I sort of wrote to my future self in this diary because I knew I would be the one that uh, would read it and only me, you know. And that's kind of lonely, you know. I, I am a very lonely person in real life, you know. I am very, I, I wish I had more, I wish I had more friends, uh, more than anything. Um, more than, more than anything, I'd like to like sex, to be fair. Uh, but I, I would like to have more friends. Uh, and I don't know whether my sexuality is prohibiting me from gaining as many friends or having as many friends. But whether it is or not, I, I would still like to have more friends. Um, and sorry if you can hear banging and stuff. <laughs> um, but I just want to thank you because, you know, now this has become my diary, this YouTube thing. Uh, I don't write in a diary anymore. It's taken over from that because I literally, like, as I say, if I've got anything on my chest, I'll share it here. Difference with YouTube is people can comment. People can send me messages. People can react to. I can have an effect on people, whether, you know, people uh, have sympathy towards me, uh, people have empathy towards me, perhaps people, you know, hate me for what I said, perhaps people smile at what I do, perhaps people laugh at what I do. You know, people can show emotion towards my diary now and people can react to it, you know, Where, which is what I didn't have before. It was all shut in this book. And even on this channel in the last year, I've uh, I've read out parts of my diary to YouTube, you know, a diary that I kept for myself, for my future self to read. I've displayed it to the whole world. <laughs> and let um, again, this was like a few months ago now, but I read out my diary. And everyone said it was like one of the most powerful videos. And I think it was too. I think it was one of the most powerful videos I did because it was 
so honest and so true. This was something, as, as I say, I wrote to myself. It was, it was nothing I was like putting on, I wasn't putting on anything to impress someone. You know, I didn't think this diary would ever get released here or get released anywhere. So, you know, there would have been no point for me to, you know, dig myself up in the diary or make anything up or lie or anything because I'm not trying to, you know, because I, uh, th this diary wouldn't have gone anywhere. So the fact that what I was reading out from this diary was so true and everyone could be absolutely sure of that. And the fact that I still felt the same, you know, in this diary and, you know, the depression I had and like stuff I'd said, um, perhaps I might link those uh, videos in the description if you haven't uh, read them because I think a lot of you may relate in one way or another. Uh, this was back when I was younger and I have a few younger viewers, well, uh, of, you know, a lot of my viewers are younger than me. So I think a lot of you will relate to this and uh, I just want to say you're not alone. Uh, I know it's very cliche, but you, you're not. And I just, I, this is why I appreciate it so much. Um, like, literally so much and i'm sorry if you know some of my videos are too much or something or i'm sorry if uh yeah if i become you know if it, it's just too much for you to handle or just that i'm too open or something but it's just who i am and i hope and you know i hope i hope you somewhat enjoy my content anyway um, so thank you for watching this video. I understand it's very long already. I think it's like 16 minutes long in total. I had to cut it out because my uh, my phone can take up the whole video space. Like it, I understand this video is very long. I understand it's like 16 minutes long. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. That would be much appreciated. Uh, happy year anniversary to everyone that, that subscribed from the start. And, you know, hopefully for those who have just subscribed recently, hopefully we'll be doing this year anniversary, you know, two year anniversary next year and you'll be saying it as your year anniversary. Or if you subscribed halfway through, then happy half a year <laughs> anniversary or however long you've been subscribed for. I appreciate your support. Have long, even if you're just watching my videos and not subscribed because you don't have an account. I, I, I know you're there and I appreciate you just watching it and just taking in what I say. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you have me on Snapchat, I reply to every single Snapchat I get. Uh, well, I at least watch it or read it. But I try to reply to as many as I can. 100%. Uh, uh, I think people who know me know I do try a lot. <laughs> really hard. Um, so I will try that. If you want to speak to me, if you want to talk to me, if you want to, yeah, do whatever, uh, I'm down. I'm really down. Uh, you know, I appreciate your friendship just like you would. Uh, if you appreciate mine, you know, I do. Um, so don't think that I don't, because yeah, I really do. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon.